Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the process that we're using to make your glowing plants. So we start, as we've discussed a little bit before, by generating plant callus. These are like stem cells. And we generate these from plant roots, which we grow on a special media. You can see some of the roots streaked out on this plate. And after a, a little bit of time, they start looking like this, where you get these clumps of brown looking cells. These turn into the calli, as you can see on this plate. This is the stage where we use our gene gun, and we fire the gene gun at these cells with two constructs in it. The first construct contains the glowing genes, and the second construct contains a selectable marker. And as we've talked about before, in a small number of cases, the gene gun inserts the DNA into the plant cells, and then we can regenerate them. And here on this plate, you can see what we hope will be the tissues that are going to turn into our glowing plants. We're growing these calli on a selectable media that looks for only the cells that include our selectable marker, which is a herbicide resistance. And as you can see, a small number of the cells are growing into little green clumps. These clumps, we hope, and we don't know for sure yet because it's too early, but we hope also contain our glowing genes. And when we regenerate them out into a whole plant, they should have the gene in them. Now, what that means is that the, the plant will also have the herbicide resistance gene. And we don't want that to get into the final product. So once, we, once these plants grow a little further, we'll, translate, we'll transfer them onto a root initiation media. And that root initiation media will allow them to grow into a full plant. And you can see here, this is a tobacco plant that's just beginning to grow some of its roots. In a couple more weeks, we'll transfer this over to soil and it will be able to grow like all these other Arabidopsis that you see here, which are our existing prototypes. The next stage after that will be to cross the plant with itself. So the reason we use two different DNA sequences was because then we can select for a plant that only contains the, the glowing plant gene and has it on both chromosomes, but doesn't have the herbicide resistance. About one in 16 of the progeny of our plants will have that desired characteristic. And that will be the final product that we can then scale and, and grow up many, many seeds in order to send them out to you in a few more months. Um, so that's the process we're using to make the first version of the plant and uh, really uh, looking forward to sharing it with you. Thank you.